Hey Lightweights, welcome back to some more Marvel's Spider-Man Silver Lining DLC. Uh, I'm really excited because Silver Sable and Spidey are officially working together, and Felicia is back in the mix. We still have no idea what happened to Yuri, but I have a feeling she's not gone. She's probably going to pop up when we least expect it, so I'm really excited to see how all of this culminates and what the ending has in store for us. I hope that you are enjoying the final DLC video. Um, the final DLC. This will be the final DLC video. Uh, if you are and you have not already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the video for my next game. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Okay, so I literally haven't moved since last video because it's still the same recording session for me. Um, but it wanted us. What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Follow these. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Now, what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of mm. GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts. That's cool. But something tells me I'm not gonna find Crime a chest scenes? full of gold at any of these places. That's a lot of fun. Okay, let's go do this one while we're waiting for main mission. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. Another police report. And another audio recorder. This looks familiar. How did they I get up here? I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Yikes. Okay, um, I guess we're just gonna swing around till something pops up. Hey, Peter. And there we go. Know I haven't lived out. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. It's pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say. You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah. May. But I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. <laughs> exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. 
I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Free A. Should be close. I don't understand. Oh, right Whoever's there. Setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. <laughs> Rope walking. Did you guys hear about that guy who's gonna tightrope walk over a volcano? Why, why do people do this? Oh god. Stop! No! Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So, what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Wow. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Okay, why do I not have any main missions? I do. I, I am ready. Meet me at my base. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Cause she like practically owns the city for a while. Up on me. Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. She probably just got disconnected. Oh yeah, she definitely. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Yes. I don't think she hates you. Logic takes you. the fun out of everything. I think she's scared. And she... Shows that by being angry. Let's get to work. So where's this base you talked about? Whoa. Your toys are so much cooler than mine. Oh, we saw that plan. I love this invisible floating fortress thing, but now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it, so let us work quickly. I have acquired the Class 5 laser array. 
We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Lucky for us, I'm working on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. Whoa, nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting <laughs> field, aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So, we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, Shepard, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? Done. Technically, How's it look? we would be killing. Functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. <laughs> okay, This ready? is gonna ready. involve shooting us eventually. Bombs away! Hit it! Pull! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun. Here comes another one. Nice shot! Damn. Is this how modern militaries do skeet shooting? <laughs> oh, oh, can we do one more? Please! You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. Ah! Whoa! Come back. We have one more thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. Oh, yay. System ready. I like these. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. Oh. I thought they were gonna be science experiments. So disappointing. You two teaming up now? Cute. But it ain't gonna do no good. The uh, stable? Use a little help here. The laser is down. Can you fix it? I am trying. Okay, I'll just do the hammerhead waltz for a bit. Time to get personal. I just want to thank you for showing me what I've been doing wrong for years. If I want to rule this city, I gotta modernize. Evolve! Uh... Now that I'm involved, it's time for me to be the boss I always should have been. Just as soon as I kill you, okay, back both. Up. Man, he's back. You guys just don't give up, do you? Almost there. Think you need a knee replacement? Laser is back online. Get it! Pissing me off! Now I can get in close. This is a fight you ain't gonna win! Dane Bramage! Oh shit. No! Oh, let him hit me. turds. You fight good, but not as good as me! Let's see it not dead! Oh, yeah, okay. You think you're hurting me? No! 
Acceptable, huh? I think not. Oh, we're glitching. Oh, we are seriously glitching. This is bad. Oh, damn it. I gotta be quicker. One hit. to do it. He's probably still not down though.
was fun. Hey. Is he dead now? You have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. Right. You have a war to fight. I do not like to fight. Do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? <laughs> Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. I don't do hugs. Yeah, right. <laughs> of course. Aw, Peter. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? I, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. The web shooters are a little tight. You get used to it. Just try to keep up. Okay, Hammerhead's finished, but his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. Let's check out- oops. Let's check out this new suit. Whoa! That's really cool. Alright, this video is super freaking short. Um, I guess let's do the rest of these crime scenes. And see... where that story goes, because I'm definitely curious. Better take a closer look. this live streaming egomaniac screw. It's bad enough her show features and glorifies that narcissistic webhead Spider-Man, but her, 
shows, if you can even call them that, are putting hard-working New Yorkers in harm's way just so she can gain followers. Whatever that means. Can't you see her ridiculous stunts are nothing more than a desperate ploy for attention? Come on, folks. You're smarter than that. By watching your oh, shows, you're <laughs> literally hurting yourselves. So, you ask, what should we do instead, Jonah? Here's an idea. Tune into my show instead. The only thing I'll hurt you with is the truth! Okay. I remember Yuri Bye. saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri, Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I you have do. to keep following it. Running up the building. Come in. What the hell? What is happening? There we go. I don't know why it's struggling so much today. It's got to be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. Another file and recorder. Ugh. Come on. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> Thank you. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally. But the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Hmm. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. Is that gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Getting closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. There's a report and recorder. Yeah, it says aim at a surface, but it won't let me, so... Honestly, don't understand what's happening. Why won't it? As soon as it goes green, then it disappears. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, 
Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. It definitely sounds like the psychiatrist is the one who is guilty of these. Because he's the only connection. I will even give Spider-Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final blow. However, while the mainstream media trips over itself to heap lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but... When is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, maybe though. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I mean, of course they are. Why would that surprise you? Why are they... Oh, here they are. I'm just blind. That's why. I think I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. But was it? These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Oh. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer. He gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. This is not good, you guys. This is not good at all. It's cool how they tied Yuri's story in. Even though it's not the main story, they were still able to connect it in with these side missions. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? There we go. All units, officers are in pursuit of stolen Sable APCs. Reports are coming from Sty Village. 
Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi, can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Dot. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why did I listen to that? Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. I feel bad for that police officer. Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. Yuri. I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time, but there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do. And I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! What am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Well, that's another game wrapped up on the channel, you guys. Um, this was really, really good. I know I didn't talk much about it at the end of the main story mission because I was so emotional, but holy hell, you guys. The acting was incredible. The story writing was phenomenal. I just loved it. I really loved it. Um, they had so many great characters that were just so complex. Um, you saw that with Doc Ock. You saw that with Martin Lee. And again, you just saw that with Yuri. It's just really cool. and. One thing I loved about this game is that all of the side things you did, um, although sometimes they got a little bit repetitive if I'm being honest, um, they added to the story. So even though they were repetitive, I knew, okay, if I just make it to the end, I'm going to get some really cool little nugget that's going to tie into the main story. So it made it easy for me to do and it made me want to keep doing them, which was really nice. Um, these crime scene photos, obviously just the latest example of that, but it happened throughout the entire game. Uh, they also helped you with skills and things like that, which was also really cool. So overall, just a phenomenal game, and I'm really, really excited for the sequel. Um, I know the sequel probably is going to be revolving around Venom because of that last end credit scene with the main mission. 
Um, but there's a lot of characters they can do things with. There's a lot of other small storylines they can pick up on, and I'm really, really excited to see where it goes. So I hope that you enjoyed the playthrough of this amazing game. Um, if you did and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know what my next game on the channel will be. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Your support has been incredible, and I am just blown away by it, and I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you are all having an amazing day, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.